Hello, friends. Flexibility class. Woo! Um, so we're actually starting on the floor today. And the invitation is to really think of your body not as a machine, but as a organic system of tensegrity, which means like if something moves over here, it's going to affect other parts of our bodies, of our body. So I want to suggest that we actually just start with walking forward on your butt and then walking back. So as you're walking forward, there were some requests to do anything. <laughs> one request? Let's just do anything. And then the other one's to work with the pelvis. So as you're moving, make this movement as sort of easy as possible. So you can kind of rock yourself from one side to the other, walking forward and backward on your butt, on your sit bones, and feeling how that like moves through your whole torso. So what's the, there's like an image that I have of some big slow animal lumbering along. That's kind of a, a way of thinking of moving, like really letting your weight shift, letting that ripple through your torso, so that as we're doing this, we're actually warming up the systems so we get more fluid, but also get a little bit warmer. And then we're gonna take our hands behind us and take the pelvis up. So warming up the back of the body a little bit and lower down, just pressing up and down and press it up and down and press it up and down. One more up, this time stay pulsing, back of the body working, pushing one, two, this is to warm it up, four, five, six. This is also giving me a terrific stretch in the front of my deltoids, so the front of my shoulders. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it all the way down lay down in the shape of an X and spread out. So here's your big stretch in the shape of an X. Let me just fix this. And just for a second, let's do a heel rock. So you're gonna dig your heels into the floor and let your body move up and down. So you're sending a ripple of movement through your body. We're hydrating the tissue through moving. So just rocking is gonna be better than sitting still for your body. I mean, not that you wanna spend your entire time rocking, but like sitting in a rocking chair is better than sitting in a still chair for older people because their bodies are moving. There's this natural pulsing rhythm. Let that go. And then we're gonna bring it in and roll from one side to the other. So we're starting small, just rolling across your back like a bug from one side to the other. Let's see what is going on with the kittens in there. Letting this massage through your back so that that tissue in your back is softening up. Ah, and think of pouring yourself from one side to the other. So pouring across the ground. And then let's open all the way through the middle and fold and close. So we're gonna open, stretch it out, and then fold it in. Open up. Close it in, open up, fold it in. Two more, opening, reaching away from center and then enclosing into center. And last one, open it up and close it in. And then come back into your big X position. So once you're in your big X this time, you're just gonna heel rock one heel and you're trying to get that movement to ripple up through the opposite hand. So you're trying to get a heel rock moving on a diagonal through your body, softening the tissue through that whole diagonal and then change it to the other side, the other side heel rock, getting a ripple of movement up and down through that other diagonal. And then we're just gonna warm up the front a little bit more, elbow to knee crossing and slide it out, cross, open. You can think of really reaching with your arm that's going out. So it comes in and then it reaches out, comes in, reaches out, in towards center, reaching out, in towards center, reaching out, in and out, and in and out. And then we're going to take hands down. We'll do a little bit more to warm up the back, pressing the pelvis up, release it down, Press and release, hamstrings getting warmer, back of the body getting more hydrated, and down, up, 
and down, up, and then circle your pelvis. Let's make big circles with this so we're getting some fluidity through the whole system. Then change direction other way. And we're also opening the front of the hips. So spine is moving, rib cage is moving a little bit, pelvis is moving. And then come in and roll it down and let's take it into a happy baby, opening up a little bit in your baby. So giving yourself a chance to play through the bent knee position and then starting to straighten it out. But you can also just have some free form moment there. Yeah, so when we're gonna do like a lot of, like, like let's say in pole, we're doing a hang from our leg with the pole here. We want that hamstring really strong. That might not be the day to do your biggest hamstring stretch when you start it out. You wanna make sure your muscles are really warm before you go for any big stretches when you need them to be strong for things. So usually like if somebody is gonna burst out of the gates and run as fast as they can, they don't want their muscles to be elastically elongated at that point. They want to be able to just shoot off. So just to throw that in, like depending on what our next move is going to be, what kind of thing we do in our body is going to be the smart thing. Like let's do one leg at a time, just stretching one in and one out. And then changing. And I am gonna let my leg go all the way down to the floor because I want this other side of my pelvis to release. Yeah, I went into pole class one day and like just opened up my hamstrings as much as we could, I could. And then we were doing hangs where we're hanging off of that leg. And I was like, oh, that was such a big mistake to stretch like that when I wasn't very warm. So yeah, we need to, depending on what our, our body's going to do, shake it out, let it go, shake, 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 let everything release. So depending on what we're asking for our body, sometimes some things are smarter preps than other things. Like if we're going to be on the pole doing a big split, then we do want to stretch that. But if we're going to be doing like a brass monkey where you're just hanging from that one leg, maybe don't do your biggest stretch right before that. All right. Okay. So I want to do um, some more with the legs opening out to the side. So we're gonna grab on, you're gonna flex in your knees and ankles, and then you're gonna extend and point. You're gonna make a circle in one direction and then a circle in the other direction. So it's flex knees and ankles, extend and point, reach out, circle your legs one way, circle your legs the other way. Flex, reach it out, circle, circle. Flex, reach it out, Circle, circle, two more like that. Flex, reach it out. So now we're in the extension, but we're also using the muscles. Sorry, circle one way and then circle the other way. And then relax, I said two more, just relax, shake it out. We'll go back into it again, but slightly different. So I'm gonna do this on my elbows. If you're more open, you can do this on your elbows. You can also stay on your back. It really depends. This time it's gonna be the same thing, flex and extend, but then I'm gonna crisscross, beat, beat, open it up. So I'm flexing on my extension. I'm trying to reach further with the legs and then crisscross, beat, beat and open. Flex, reach and point, crisscross, open. Flex, reach it out, beat, beat, open. Flex, reach, beat, beat, open, flex, reach, beat, beat, open, flex, reach, beat, beat, open, flex, reach, beat, beat, and relax. This time we're gonna kind of do the inverse of that. So open your, open your feet wide, take your hands right up here on your, top of your thighs and just push down and let your lower back arch. So I am gonna arch and push, and then I can release and soften that, arching and pushing. It's almost like I'm lengthening my legs away from me, but I'm letting my spine arch. So I'm not flattening into it, kind of active here. Arching and release, and one more. 
arching your back, pushing with your legs, and then release. So kind of what I'm thinking with this is that I am letting the muscles and organs inside my pelvic floor reach down and out. So this would be like, if we're doing the cat cow, this is the arched version. And then release. I think the cat is the curl and the cow is the arch, but I was get that confused. All right, now that you've given that push, you should have a little bit more length up there. Internally rotate one leg at a time. Feet are wide, bending in. Let that massage across your other butt cheek. And stretch out the front of your quad. And then come in and take up your butt and give it a little shake. Let your spine realign itself. And let's, um, let's come up, rolling back and forth. Let it massage through your back. If it doesn't feel good to roll forward and backward, then just go side to side. If it feels okay, rolling. And then coming up, and we're gonna sit on our butts with the legs out. This is actually from Medea. I was talking to her and she couldn't be here today, but she's like, can you do, I wanna get more open in here. So we're gonna do a few different things to get more open in the inner thighs. And the first thing is to think that we can radiate from center out to the edge, from our mind, out through our body, out through our, like beyond our body. So if I, if I just reach and I'm not really thinking of that, excuse me, I'm here. But if I add the really, the reaching in from the inside to the outside, I can go much further. And there's more like a, yeah, that's it, a sense of expansion. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a little bit sideways so you can see what my spine is doing is I am going to, we're, I'm going to go out and up. In my out and up, I'm trying to open my legs up more. And then I'm going to point, bring my legs closer together around my spine. So I'm flexing, reaching through my heels, arching, lifting, and lengthening. And then pointing, scooping, letting my legs come slightly together. Legs and spine lengthening, everything radiates away from center and then point and hollow and curl. Let it release in. Inhale, radiate out, reach with your legs, open, 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 point and hollow. Let's take it down from the pointed hollow position. Just shift around from side to side, wherever you are. And if you, if you are tighter, my TV land people, you can push from the back. You can lift yourself up. If you can get forward at all, then just take it down and melt into it. Shifting from side to side, like you're putting on a pair of pants or you're wriggling your body into a tight sweater. And then let that release and come up. And we're gonna bring it in for a second, just letting the muscles soften. And we're gonna go back to it in a minute, but give them a break, bang them up and down. Let all the soft tissue get soft and easy again, and then rotate in and out. And coming back into this. So this time in the straddle, we're gonna arch all the way down and then we're gonna come back up. This concept is a very, a very sort of Julia Horvath gyrokinesis, gyrotonic E concept. And I have to say, I learned it doing that work of really radiating out and opening. So I'm gonna radiate out and open and arch my back, thinking of my chest reaching forward and up. And then I'm gonna take it all the way down as far as I can go. As soon as I hit the end, I'm going to point my toes around my spine and come back up, not trying to open up more than that. So in the flex, I'm reaching long, I'm opening, my waist is getting longer, taking it all the way down at the bottom, I surrender, melt, point my toes, push the floor away and roll back up. So the flex is reaching out, inner body opening up, all the way down and point, curl and roll it up. Two more like that, arching and reaching, Open, 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 point and up. And last one, reaching from the center out, open, open, open and curl and roll it up and bring it in. Let it go, bang it out, rotate in and out. So we, we really can change our flexibility. We really can change the way that our body 
moves and functions, but it takes time. Like, and we don't want to make those changes super fast because if we if, if something changes really quickly, you're injured, <laughs> right? You want to take your time slowly working your way to open those things up. But first it starts in your mind. So if you're thinking to yourself, I'm so tight or, oh, I'm not there, change the, the inner dialogue to, I'm working to open up. I'm on my way to opening up. I'm becoming more open. So I'm becoming more open is a better inner conversation than I'm so fucking tight. Because whatever you're saying to yourself is going to be the truth. But the other thing to say is like, if something has, I'm just going to show you, show this to you in a very crotchy way, but <laughs> welcome to the pole dancing world. We don't care. If it's got a lot of bounce, that's muscles that's tight. If it just has a little bit of bounce, that's like tendon and ligament. So muscle, muscle bounce, lots of bounce. We can make a huge change there. Tiny, tiny little bounce, maybe more tendony. We don't want to change it so much. Almost no bounce. That's ligament. We do not want to change that. No bounce at all. That's bone on bone. So that's one way to de determine how far you can go and what's holding you back. If it's like, boom, there is no movement here. Don't expect to get more movement. If there is a fair amount of pliancy, it can change a ton. And then sometimes it's like, well, actually, I just need to think about a different part opening up, not whatever I've been thinking about. All right. So we're coming back in for our last version of this, of this one. And I'm just going to stay facing you. We're gonna start with pointed feet. It's a little bit in, we round down. You round down, then you start to lengthen your spine. Head reaches away from your tail, tail reaching back, head reaching forward, flex your feet and arch and come up. Come up through the vertical, point your toes, round your spine, taking it up and over. Once you hit the bottom, radiate out, reach through your legs, open your chest and lungs. Point your toes, round your spine, curling down radiating out, flex and open, pointing your toes, hollow, curl, round, reach it out, open, open, open. So I'm very mobile. This is, uh, this is easy for me. However, you, so you might not be quite the same. Your, your version might be much smaller. That's totally fine. Be wherever you are. Shake it out for a second. I want to say one more thing. So when I was learning about that, I was studying with Irene Dowd and I was studying anatomy with her. And that's where I found out about the, if it doesn't move at all, it's bone on bone. So I was like, oh, I, I had never thought I could do the, the, this split through the middle. So I went on this rampage to do it. And, and I was you know, doing a lot of work to open up and I could roll through, but I had to say that there was a cost. Like I started to have pain in the outside of my hip because in that ball and socket joint, there's not so much movement. So we sometimes, we just need to take the whole thing in. And now while on the screen, it looks like I am like at 180, I'm really not. I'm like quite a bit in from that. And I can, you know, I can go further, but it's not, it's not that I do not have the 180. So listen into your body. So what we're gonna do is just to get the opposite is, is do that internal rotation from a seated position so that we, we want the health on the outside of the joint, on the inside of the joint, not like, and if we think way too much, like I'm gonna open this up, I'm gonna blast it. We really need to pay attention to what's happening in other parts of our body. Good, and then let's spiral the whole way. So we get a big spiral through our spine and then coming up and around to the other side, spiraling down surrendering really three-dimensional movement through your body. Anytime we spiral, that's gonna be very three-dimensional movement. It's not linear. And within our body, there are no straight lines. There is nothing actually linear within our body. Everything is like curvilinear. Everything is, is, is shapely, shapely, like snowdrifts. and then come in and shake it out. And let's do a forward fold now. So walking your butt from side to side. With our forward fold, we're gonna play with two things. One is again, curling, and then the other one is arching. So easiest way to do this for me is to do it with bent knees. I'm gonna arch, show you my <laughs> Rocky Horror lips, 
And then I'm gonna curl and round my spine and roll back, and then I'll take it down. Flexing and arching to come up and open. Point and round, take your waist back first and then dive forward. Think of from that dive, lengthening out the spine, flexing and coming up, arching and opening. And then pointing and curling, taking it back, and then letting yourself dive forward over your legs. So in my version of understanding, and this is through all the studies I've done and working with different people, but and noticing what really happens in my body, just static stretching, sitting in something is very rarely gonna do as much as when I'm moving a little bit. So we could even just go down into this forward fold and micro move your body, micro move your legs. So think of that, that static positions are just like these momentary things. What we wanna do is find our way through movement into, into you know, getting more capacity, more ease in our movement. And then sometimes taking your time to just hang out there. So I had a friend who was a yoga teacher and we were both teaching at Equinox together. And uh, he would always, <laughs> he'd be like timing everything. I'm gonna stretch in this stretch for one minute. I'm gonna stretch in that stretch for one minute. That's one method. For me, it's better to be moving a little bit with the stretch. Let's take it down onto our back. So we're gonna work we're gonna warm up the hamstrings a little bit more and then we're gonna work with getting our legs up a little bit more. And feel free to use a strap, a towel, a t-shirt, a sock, something for, for when we get our leg. We're not quite getting it yet. We're just gonna press up again. This time let's interlace our hands behind our back, pushing up, shoulders walking together. If it feels okay, you can walk your feet in. You're gonna go up onto your tippy toes and then lower your heels. Pressing up and lowering down. Releve and lower, press it up and lower. Back of the body working, pushing the floor away. Down, up, down, up, down. One more, up, down. This time, let your hands open, let your shoulders open. Keep your uh, feet up and we're just gonna knees together and then knees open, knees closed knees open. So we're using that tissue in the legs to sort of internally rotate and then open out. You could roll to the inner and outer edge of your foot. We're trying to just warm up the back of the body in a sort of three-dimensional manner. And then take it down all the way, sticking one knee into your chest. If you want to straighten out the bottom leg, you can. It's really up to you. From there, we're going to take the knee out to the side and then bring it back into center. Knee is gonna to come to the diagonal and bring it in. I'm keeping my hip bones facing the ceiling, so I'm not really rolling my pelvis at all here. I'm moving the, the leg in the joint. And then we're gonna bend the bottom knee and straighten out the top leg, drawing it in towards you. From here, I'm gonna flex my knee and ankle and then extend the leg and point my toes. Flexing in, knee and ankle, extend and reach. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Flex it in. Now, if you want to straighten the bottom leg, you can. Flex it in. If you're struggling with your hamstring, then leave the bottom knee bent. But if you've got some mobility there, go ahead and stretch it out. Inhale, exhale. Imagine that you're breathing through your legs. Inhale. Exhale, letting it go further and further. And again, this idea of stretching from the inside to the outside so that like, even if I let go, I can move my leg higher. If I use my hand and my leg together, it's gonna go higher. So inner body to outer body stretching, working together. Last one. And I'm letting it slightly come toward my shoulder. And this femur head is slightly externally rotated so that I can bring it out. Now I'm gonna cross over my midline and I'm gonna open it out. Crossing my midline, I'm letting my hips move a little bit there and then opening wide. Crossing midline, 
Open it out. Cross to midline. Open wide. Cross midline. Last one. Open wide and fold it in and just cross it over. Big spiral. Look to your top hand. Open it up. Spiraling in your spine. Breathing into it. Then come back in. Put your feet on the floor and just pick your butt up just an inch. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Let that muscle and that tissue in the back of your hamstring just sort of renegotiate what neutral is. So neutral isn't extremely lengthened or contracted, but it's right there in the middle. Shake it all out. And we'll do the other side. So knee comes into your chest. You can stretch the other leg down or not. And then inhale, knee open to the side and exhale, bring it back in. Inhaling, open, exhale, close. So we're moving this femur head in that ball and socket joint. Close, inhale, open, close, inhale, open, exhale, close. Last one, and bring it in and bend the bottom knee, straighten the top leg. And again, really working within what feels right to you. And then, flexing your knee and ankle and extend and point. And again, this can be with a bottom leg bent or straight. Flex it in, reach and open. Inhale, flex, exhale, extend and point. Inhale, flex, exhale, reach and open. Inhale, flex, extend and point. Inhale, flex, reach it out. Inhale, flex, stretch it out. Listen, listen. Little busy body kitty is in the window. And of course, the other one comes when I call him. From there, we're going to inhale, take it out to the diagonal, and then bring it back across the midline. Yes, inhale, diagonal, open, open, open. Think of opening from the inside to the outside, and exhale, cross it over. Inhale. Open, open, open. And wherever you are, this is fine. Your leg could be here. It's totally okay for my TV land people. If you're tighter, that's fine. This is what you're looking at. And my body is hypermobility and a body that's been doing this my whole life. So breathing into it. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Taking it, folding it in, cross it over, spiral. Mmm, yummy. Tell your body how delicious is this? Yum. Mmm. Ecstatic movement. And then bring it in. Both feet on the floor. Pick up your butt. Shake, shake, shake. Let your belly soften. Everything jiggly and loose. No holding, no gripping. Releasing and softening and coming back down. And now let's come again to this happy baby that we were in earlier with the opening and closing and just play around with that. Feel your flexibility in that, feel your mobility in that. Think of the, participa the participation of your torso and again, your central channel in all your flexibility. So the flexibility is not just happening at the outside, it's from the inside to the outside and from the outside to the inside, breathing into it. And then when you're ready, let's roll back and forth again, rounding through your spine. We're gonna stay down actually, just give it a roll out. And we're gonna come onto our sides for a quad stretch. So on your side, you're gonna bend, grab on. I've got my heel in towards my butt. From that position, I'm gonna slightly internally rotate and then slightly externally rotate just a little bit so that the tissue in the front of my thigh, the sort of layers of muscle fiber and fascia get some movement. That's gonna hydrate the muscle more and give it more, or hydrate the system more, give it more access to movement. And then I'm gonna kick my heel further back and just open up that way. So for me not to fall over, I've got to bring my leg further forward, maybe do something with my arm so I can really kick back. 
feeling that stretch through the front of my abs, through the front of my hip flexor and my quad. And then release it, shake it out, let it go. I'm gonna roll over onto my other side. Same thing, heel into my butt, then internally and externally rotating. So I'm moving the tissue of everything really. It's skin, superficial fascia, muscle, all the way down to the bone, the perifascia. There's movement in there that's giving it a little bit more health. And then kicking the heel back. Breathing into that. And then releasing that and letting it go. Giving everything a shake on your back. Blah, let it all go. Oh, and flip over. So we're gonna do something for our spines and also for, this is that pelvic request. And the idea is, I'm just gonna grab this. I didn't put a mat on the floor today because often I like to just be on the hardness of the floor, but this is a itchy wool carpet and my skin, I need something soft underneath it. So what we're gonna do is think of the inner body radiating outward. So, so many movement systems uh, have a way of um, culturally impinging upon what we should or shouldn't be doing in our pelvises, not just movement in classes, like all the way that we think about being human. So what I want you to think of is that the movement through your pelvis can really go down, back and out, right? It's like, we know this in pole class, stick it out, twerk, get it going, right? And it's very much not a pattern that for most Western people, let's just say it, most white women, it's not the most comfortable pattern to like let your butt go and free it up. So I wanna just offer that as we're in this exploration that you really think of shining the light out your butt, right? <laughs> let it go. And you're gonna let your spine free up, moving in any way that feels interesting, but let yourself Really think of reaching out and back through your whole pelvic floor. Like you are, I have really inappropriate things to say right now, which I'm not gonna say, but they're not really inappropriate. They're just culturally inappropriate. Think of radiating out, stick out your vagina, stick out your butt, reach it back, and then hollow and curl and let it come back in. So that the idea is that we can, birth through our vaginas. We can poop all this stuff through our butts. We can, everything can come down and out, but also it's like that, that our systems don't need to be contained, held up and in. There can be this connection to the earth in our lower body. So with a cat cow, like I could think of head and tail radiating away from each other, reaching out and then coming in, scooping up <laughs> cat arching, opening, sticking it out and then hollowing and curling. So we'll go with, from the elbows and knees, free flow spinal movement with the idea that we're softening the whole central channel. We're creating space in the whole central channel. Yeah, if we want more spinal flexibility, we need to have more core flexibility. So head, tail, out through your pelvis, energy moving in both directions or in all directions, omnidirectional movement. You can also come up onto your hands. And if you feel like inspired, you can come up onto your hands and feet, letting your spine free up. Knees can bend, arms can bend. There are no rules, just mobilizing, finding some freedom in the movement of your torso, letting your tail stick out, letting your butt pop, letting your <laughs> sharing your jewels with all the world. I guess like, it's just not a puritanical idea. It's the end. It's like a very witchy idea. So let that out, free it up. And then when you're ready, bring it back down. And let's take it onto our, let's take, come into the straddle one more time. So we are just dealing a lot with straddle today. And 
instead of you, we could work with circles, like we could circle around, that would be great. So maybe starting with circles is a good place to circle one way, circle the other way. But then when you feel like the capacity for more creativity, let it be more free flow. So you're not telling yourself what you have to do, but you're allowing more freedom in the expression of your movement. Oh. In my animal kingdom, my animal queendom. You can hear the, um, the creaky floor. And then add the idea of your hands and feet into that whole thing so that there's this sense of freedom up the central channel. And then it's radiating out through your nervous system into your arms, and into your legs, into your fingers, into your toes. This can come in as narrow as feels good, but bringing it back sort of to the role play ideas that we were exploring in the previous class in this more open, expansive position. And I do want to say that like on the sort of cosmic level, when we start to open up, when we start to make these shifts, things start to shift. So there may be some like reordering and restructuring that your body or your mind has to adjust to after you start to <coughs> make shifts inside. Oh, <laughs> she's... Oh my God, the cats are so funny. The little instigators, the little, the, this little girl just wants to get up to him so bad. And so does the white one. They're like magnetized to him, it's hilarious. But finally, they're all starting to play. All right, let's roll across our butts one more time. So rolling across this big uh, glute piriformis. Let your thing, think of like pouring out of your pelvis also. So this idea that like, <laughs> we can move and reach from our organs in our organs, letting that have some freedom. And then let's finish it off with just some hip stuff. So let's do... Let's do this one, one foot over the other. If it's possible to fold the bottom one under, go for it. If that doesn't feel good, then keep it long underneath you so it can be extended. Draw your knee, first just draw it into your chest and lengthen up, then spiral. Take a couple of breaths there and let yourself kind of move in and out of it with your breathing pattern, with whatever feels good in your pattern of breath. Then you can also kind of sink into it or lengthen out of it. And then quick counter stretch in the other direction. Think of the spiral from the tissue in your foot, through your legs, through your spine, through your spinal cord, up into your brain, even your eyes getting involved. Nice, and then unscramble it, let it go, bang it out, rotate in and out. Relax your neck, jaw, and tongue, and switch it to the other side. So other foot crosses over. If you have access to folding, access to folding the bottom one under, do it. If not, don't. Work with what feels good in your body. First, drawing the leg in. Think of like kind of growing in and up with your torso, and then you're gonna spiral. Twisting, breathing into it. Letting yourself micro move with that, increasing the spiral, decreasing, lengthening, sinking playing around in the possibilities in there and just tuning into sensation. And then counter stretch. And then coming back. And let's take our feet 
And so this is, I feel my feet are really dirty. I, like, I was gonna take a shower before I left the city and then it didn't happen. But you know, when you have that, that's the thing. These are my great jewels of wisdom from the pandemic. One is I don't really need to do my laundry that often. I can wear, wear the same clothes a lot more. And then the other one is I really don't need to bathe that much. It's like, who's gonna smell me? Me, <laughs> Anthony. This is just human stuff, right? So like I become muckier and I'm like, oh, look at those dirty feet. Oh, well, back and forth with your uh, knees, knees toward the floor, heels toward the floor. And then tail to the ceiling, shift from side to side, bend one knee, bend the other. Let your spine release. Think of your tail leading the way. Knees can be easy and loose. You can work into your hamstrings as much as you want to because you could also do this with straight legs. Or bent knees. And then rolling it up to the top, coming all the way to standing. And inhale, open, stretch out and up. Ha, ah, take a second just to reach through one side and then the other. So that whole train of fascia from your fingertips down through your feet, opening up. And then the inner body, all of this having more freedom as you shift from side to side. But there's a cat like right here. I can't get him. His head is actually on the computer right here. I'm gonna take this off and just show you who has like practically on the computer the whole, like whenever he can, <laughs> it's hilarious. All right, excellent. So yes, that is it. We are done with my uh, flexibility class. Online people, share it with people that might need some body stuff. Everybody else stick around or not. I'm going to stop recording.